Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, things are so retarded that words are not enough. This is one of those times. Nothing I say in this video will be enough to describe the retarded nature of what 343 are doing with the MCC in 2018. Nothing I say, right or wrong, nothing anyone says, will adequately describe the retardation, the sheer idiocy. Nothing will ever come close to describing what you are about to hear from 343 Industries. And you can take that to the fucking bank. So, trying to get back to coherent thoughts here for a second before we go into the realms of madness and retardation, known as 343 Industries, let's first enter the realms of idiocy with our friend Mr. Canuck. Okay, so within minutes of this being posted, assuming he must have been watching the live stream where Bonnie gave this out live. Um, I actually have a life, so I wasn't watching that garbage, but 16 hours ago, I'm getting messages from him and his subscribers attacking me over something I said in this video before E3, which is like a bit of a prediction video. So, let me get this straight. Every time I say something and I say it would be retarded to think this way and to act this way and to expect this to happen, when it happens, that makes me wrong. Granted, it's happening. Well, that doesn't make you any less of a fucking idiot. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Are you trying to tell me, right, that a game hasn't been updated since two years ago or whatever. It's been out for four years, apparently, by the time this fix for the MCC is coming in. Is that a good turnaround for you? You happy with that? So, instead of complaining and saying this is too little too late and doing videos saying 343 can shove it up their ass, like everybody should be doing, the Halo community is going to praise 343 Industries for fixing a game that was released over four years ago, broken as fuck. Let that sink in for a second. So instead of being upset, angry, disappointed with the company, with, the, with Microsoft, with 343, they're going to come and attack people like me who are calling it as it is, who are saying that 343 are a bunch of idiots and this is a retarded move. They're going to come and attack me for stuff that I've said in the past. And they're going to do that as soon as it motherfucking drops with the news before I've even seen the news on my freaking videos. Why these people have absolutely no fucking lives. Canuck. You have no fucking life, mate. You posted 16 hours ago. Basically, when this news fucking flew off the fucking... F off the presses. Oh, look, GLL's wrong again. Let's roll the fucking footage and let's see how wrong I fucking am about your dumb ass, okay? Let's fucking see what you're talking about, okay? Let's see the fucking comment, okay? Okay, so... As you can see, your username should be G-L-L-L-L-L for all the L's you take, okay? What L's have I taken, okay? Let, let's, let's, let's back up here, okay? So you're saying 343 never lie, which has been proven false. So they couldn't have been lying before E3 about releasing Halo 3 Anniversary, even though they did lie at E3 because they came out and said... They were releasing DLC for Halo Wars 2 that wasn't including the season pass, even though a season pass indicates that all the content would be under the season pass. 
So they lied with the season pass of Halo Wars 2, essentially. So, different lie, but still bullshit. Okay, they said the MCC was going to do this, that, and the other at release. It failed. They said Halo 5 was going to have this, 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 and this. And it failed. Frank O'Connor said there was not going to be a Halo 2 anniversary. And there was. So, what is your point? The video is about the fact that before E3, you cannot know if they're going to release a freaking game because they're not going to tell you before they announce it. That's as, as simple as I can make it. That's all the video was about. 16 hours ago, motherfucker. GL has been proven wrong about again in this video. 16 hours ago, motherfucker. Okay. 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 We'll play it your way. We'll play it your way. Okay. What did I say in this video about them fixing the MCC? Okay. Let, let's just roll with it. If you want to embarrass yourself again, let's roll with it. Let's see what I said. Accepted that. From all indications, as of right now, it's not happening. Because that's what Microsoft and 343 are telling you. But do you really think that we're going to do a Halo 3 anniversary? They will reveal that before E3 and give the game away. Do you think that? Really? Incredible. Not to mention, Halo the Master Chief Collection is still very much a sore spot. And I feel that Xbox and... That's funny, because I thought it was fixed in March. And everything was fine, that you could find games and everything. Like he said earlier in this video, if you want to watch this video, feel free to check out this video as well. Get yourself a bit of background on this. Well, let's continue. Three for three does not want to add any more attention directly or indirectly to that game. That isn't. What did you just say? Because I could have sworn they'd just drawn attention to that game. Oh, looks like you were wrong. I should be going to your channel 16 hours ago and telling you were wrong. Until it's completely fixed, which who knows when or if that will happen. So they won't draw attention to it until it's completely fixed, which it isn't. Yet. So you're wrong. It will reveal that before E3. Source spot, and I feel that Xbox and... That's funny, because I thought it was fixed in March and everything was fine, that you could find games and everything. Hmm. 3 for 3 does not want to add any more attention directly or indirectly to that game. That is, until it's completely fixed, which who knows when or if that will happen. So, so this guy still lives in the bubble where the MCC is still going to be fixed, even though they've not updated it since May 2015. Is, is he living in a complete dream world? Did you hear that? Did you hear how stupid that was? And 3 for 3 does not want to add any more attention directly or indirectly to that game. That is until it's completely fixed, which who knows when or if that will happen. Who knows when or if it will happen? We know it's not going to happen, you fucking moron! What the fuck? Come on! I also don't believe in its current state that they would make a Halo 3 anniversary add-on to the Master Chief Collection. Well, at least you're not as dumb as Luke the Notable then. This so can you see my point there? Now, if you can't see the point, you're a Canuck fanboy, okay? If you can't see my point, you're a Halo 5 fanboy. You can't understand basic logic here. This guy has been expecting a game that hasn't been patched since 2015 to be fixed sometime in the future. So now that the game, so now 343 have come out and say they're doing something with the game, they're fixing the game, they're putting a 4K update in for the fucking game. And the guy's going to come here and attack me in the comments because he has no fucking life. His entire life is about fucking Halo. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? You, you get the live announcement from Bonnie. That's why I assume. That's why you got this news so much earlier than I did. Okay. You get the early announcement. All right. What do you choose to do with that early announcement? Come and attack me on my fucking video. Amazing. Amazing. So, we, we, this is incredible. So, you're trying to tell me that 
because I was wrong about them fixing the MCC, which it looks like I may be now, but isn't necessarily the case because they could still fuck it up and not mean what they say and be lying and talking bullshit, but they said they're going to do it, so they must do it because it's free for free. But let, let's just assume for now, okay, that they are going to do it. Okay, let's just assume that. Why you would, I don't know, but let's just assume that, okay? Even if I'm wrong about them fixing it, why the fuck would anybody expect a game that hasn't been patched since 2015 to be fucking fixed? What kind of sad life do you have to have where you're waiting for a game to be fixed constantly since 2015 and still expect some return? Where does it end? And you're still defending 343 and you're still attacking people like me. What the fuck? What the f actual fuck? How is this good news? This is retarded. Absolutely retarded. Look, we know that it's on WavePoint and that Bonnie Ross has said it and it's on Halo's Twitter and all this that they're going to be adding 4K to the MCC and they're going to be fixing, in inverted commas, the MCC. They want us to beta test it some more so they can fix it. Well, that's great. That's fucking great. But um, slight problem here. That was fucking 2015. That was when the last patch was. The game came out in 2014. What the fuck? Who cares about the MCC? Any real Halo fan would have completed that all that shit months ago. Years ago. They'd have 6,000 motherfucking gamers score like me. It would be done. Dead. Finito. So what's this bullshit? We, 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 why fucking patch the freaking game now? Everybody has moved on. The game is fucking dead. Why would you do this now? It's retarded nonsense from free for free It's bullshit. Why is nobody calling them out on this? Why isn't this fucking Canuck and his fucking posse all like, this is a stupid idea? Because it's a stupid idea. Who patches a fucking four-year-old freaking game for no fucking reason? What's the point? This is going to change the entire landscape of Halo, right? So basically, they're doing this shit. Does that mean there's going to be no Halo 6 at all next year? Or does that mean that there's going to be no Halo 3 anniversary because they want to patch the fucking MCC for some fucking reason? Are they going to patch the MCC and release a Halo 3 anniversary with Halo 6? Or is Halo 3 anniversary not going to happen now? Is that not on the table whatsoever? How is this good news? So, if you if you were hoping for a Halo 3 anniversary, doesn't this kick that in the head? Weren't people, like, really excited for Halo 3 anniversary and shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Weren't people thinking it was almost a dead cert that it was going to be coming at some point? You know what I'm saying? But now you're happy they're patching the MCC. A game no one plays. No one cares about. Go on fucking Twitch. See how many people are fucking live streaming that shit and see how many people are fucking watching it. Nobody cares about the MCC. Nobody cares. It's a dead game. It's a broken ass dead motherfucking game. Since release. 343 are patching a game that's four fucking years old. Okay. Some game consoles... Don't have four-year lifespans. The original Xbox didn't even have a four-year fucking lifespan. That's actually, from start to finish, fucking dead. Four years. The MCC should not be getting a patch. If you were going to fix the MCC, it should have been done 
way fucking back in 2015. Halo 5 should have been delayed. That's incredible. So, Microsoft just dropped the fucking ball, man. Seriously, are you fucking kidding me? How is this a good business move? Putting all this time and resources into this. You could just make a new game with this team you're setting up to make this shit. You could make Halo 3 Anniversary. Am I the only one that sees that? They could actually make a decent game with the resources instead of trying to fix a game nobody cares about that's not going to give them any money whatsoever. Nobody's going to buy the Xbox One X to play the fucking MCC. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so retarded. This is loot the notable territory, okay? When the... When the fucking uh, Halo YouTubers went to 343, were they like whispering ideas in their ears? Like, LNG was there like, mm, Yeah, guys, um, I know you're having trouble pulling that rock, uh, but uh, what you should be doing is fixing the MCC because that's a great idea. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Who, who sat there, right, and, and, and suggested this shit? Like, Bonnie Ross needs to go, man. Like, Kiki needs to go. Free for free need to go. Okay. Bring in certain affinity. Fuck 343. Fuck them. They're terrible. Microsoft, you know this. Remove the goddamn studio. They fucking suck. It's unbelievable. Bring in an independent company like Bungie was so they don't have to fucking bow down to all your freaking retarded shit because they aren't part of your fucking company. It's fucking retarded. It's unbelievable. Fixing the MCC. Okay, so... True Scottish Gamer said the game was fixed in two months. Then it was fixed in four months. Well... He was close, wasn't he? With the four years that it's taken to fix the freaking game. It's going to be four fucking years. But apparently it was fixed in two months. Apparently, Chinook here with his fucking bullshit. Saying that MCC might be fucking fixed. And that you can find games now and the game's working. In fucking... Uh, just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I just absolutely weird fail me. You're gonna come and attack my fucking video that I made about you, which was factual, which basically said that 343 always lie and that you're full of shit and you can't predict anything from what you're saying about Frank O'Connor and his bullshit comments that don't prove anything and nothing they say ever proves anything because you never know what they're gonna do. Then you're gonna say they're not gonna say this about this. You're going to say, oh, they're not going to tell us anything and let tell the game's fixed. Well, the game isn't freaking fixed. So you're wrong. They've drew attention to it again and the game is not fixed. So you're wrong right there. Then I said, can't believe this guy's still expecting the game to be fixed when it fucking last updated in 2015. And I'm an idiot for that? What kind of idiot would expect this to happen? Only a 343 fucking retard would expect this to happen. You should go and work at 343. Because they're all retards. They're all a bunch of fucking noobs. they fucking just morons. Just complete fucking morons. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They think Halo's about freaking Batman and shit. They don't know what the fuck. It's just any old shit. Oh, we have to put Sprint in and we have to do this and uh, because of Batman. It's like, what the fuck does Batman have to do with the game? What the, the actual fuck? But you, you, your fucking thing about this, you don't fucking lose your freaking mind like I do. You don't go, what the fuck? Like, doesn't anybody, doesn't anyone watching this with a brain, like from an intellectual standpoint, will be sitting there going, no, this isn't real. No, you, this guy's bullshitting. No, no. And then they'll go and look and they'll, they'll look this up and they'll be like, fuck me, this shit is real. That's what I had to do. How can you expect this to happen? This is retarded. Who, what idiot company would fucking green like this? Only Microsoft would green like this. They're so fucking dumb. 
How is this going to help them move Xbox One Xs? How does this help their business strategy? How is this going to win back the Halo fan base? Wouldn't making Halo 6 a decent Halo game win back the Halo fan base? Wouldn't making Halo 3 Anniversary win back the Halo fan base? Now let's update a fucking four-year-old game that no one cares about! What kind of idiot does this? Only Microsoft are this dumb! Only 343 are this dumb! Only them! It's retarded! That's all I can say! And nothing I say, like I say at the beginning of the year, nothing I say we can describe how stupid this is. Nothing. It's so retarded, it goes beyond words. You just have to see it to believe it. <sighs> and if, I'm, I'm telling you now, if, fa if we've got Favin, and we've got Roni, and we've got fucking LNG, and we've got fucking Green Skull, and they're doing positive videos about this, what the fuck is wrong with them? Honestly, what 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 kind of idiot will be positive about a four-year-old freaking game getting just now, supposedly in the future, some hat, some some fucking distant future in in the four years since the game released, being fucking fixed? Are, are we really that bothered about that? Does is anyone even buying an Xbox One X? And who the care, fuck cares about 4K on Halo One? What? Who cares? Seriously? Make some new freaking games. It's a new fucking console. Stop remastering and, and refixing and fucking shit up and then... What? What? I can't even form coherent thoughts. It's so dumb. It's so darted. I can't understand it. No sane human being can sit there, see this shit, and go, that's a brilliant idea. You're a fucking idiot. There's probably about three people playing the MCC. All oh, that's fucking... They just literally released Halo 3 on backwards compatibility and Halo Reach with all the DLC and shit. So why the fuck would you ever want to play the MCC when you can just play the original freaking games? They're talking about bringing back Xbox original games. So just... Bring back Halo 2, the original. Release a standalone version of Halo 2 Anniversary. Do that. There's loads of ideas. Fixing the MCC gains zero profit. Zero profit. And fixes nothing because nobody's going to care. Like, nigh on all the fan base has moved the fuck on. It's not a new release. It's not going to get fucking people to come back to the Xbox from the PS4. It's not going to get people back into Halo. It does, does literally nothing. It just means like one or two people like me might be able to play a couple of games of Halo 2 and it not be fucking broke. If they fucking do it properly and actually do it, which you have no fucking confidence in them doing it anyway. As we fucking know from the past that they're a bunch of incompetent idiots. So why will we expect them to do this now? But even if they do it, it's worthless anyway. It's, the MCC is beyond a joke. It's like the most broken fucking release game of all fucking time, isn't it? One of. One of the most overhyped pieces of trash of all time. Oh, let's fucking fix it. No one cares. It's over. It's fucking over. No one cares. I can't believe this shit, man. And then, on top of that, you get fucking Canook again. Oh, it, you were wrong about the MCC being fixed. Who cares? Why do you care? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be upset about this? That it's taken four years to fix the fucking game? No. He's glad that he got one over on me in his own mind. He got one over on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was right. They are fixing the MCC. No idiot. No, no normal person would have thought this was going to happen. Who would think they were going to go like, yeah, and let's not patch the game uh, for a couple of years and then we'll just fix it. What? 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 Who, would think this? Who would think this? Who would think this? This is not actual logic Factual based common sense. It is mongoloids. 
absolute mongoloids running a freaking company. That's what it is. It's fucking retarded. If you're fucking in line with a bunch of idiots that don't know what the fuck they're doing, and you're in the same mindset as them, what does that say about you? What does that say about you when you can't fucking grasp the fucking magnitude of how stupid this is? And everybody else around you is just like, yeah, GLL, he's just a hater. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm right. What the fuck is the point in fucking fixing a game that's freaking four years old? And why the fuck would they put the time and resources into that? And what is the point in doing it? So why would you hang on your their every word and hope to hope? Oh, let's hope that they're going to fix the fucking game. Who cares? Who cares if they fix the game? It was broken at release. You're not going to get the fucking return on it that you need to get because no one's going to be playing it. So Big Team Battle is out because no one's going to freaking play it with you. So you can't play it like 90% of the freaking game modes. Anyway, the game's a pile of shit. Has been for fucking three and a half years or whatever. H how can they make it better by fixing it now? Okay. The fucking player base is dead. You know it's going to get them back because you fixed the game. It's too late for that. The game wouldn't have even had good player base had it worked from day one. Because it's a freaking remaster with four separate games on it and there was too many freaking playlists. But what the fuck do I know? What the fuck? So even if the game worked, it wouldn't have fucking been a success till now. It still would have died. But it didn't work from release. Why fix a game that didn't work from release that no one plays, no one cares about? It's, it just it goes on. It goes on. This is it just goes on and on with three four three. They're just idiots, and the people that support them are, are bigger idiots than they are, and they just lap it up. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? Whew. Right. Okay, let's look at the article just so we can all have a good fucking laugh and then realise that this is actually happening. This is actual fact. This is not some bullshit that someone cooked up like I thought it was because, heaven forbid, why would this be fucking true? How could this be true? How could this be true? But it's true, okay? And in classic 343 bullshit form, okay, here's the screen, right? And instead of simply putting it on its own thing or whatever, it's going to be at the bottom of a load of news, okay? It's, it's not that important. Let's put it at the bottom somewhere. You know, like when split screen was removed? Just hide it in the bottom there. No one cares about that. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, whatever. So all this bullshit, uh, Halo Championship, don't care about that. We don't care about Halo 5. Fuck off. We don't care about that shit. We don't care about any of this crap. Um, Halo recruits. Oh yeah, that VR. That's yeah. We don't care about that. Fuck off. Let me fuck that off. Uh, Halo Five 4K. Don't give a shit about Halo Five. Uh, whether it's in 4K, whether it's in 3D, you can shove it up your ass. So get get the fuck out of here. Uh, local servers. Um, yeah, let's add lands to Halo Five. Something that should have been in at launch. You know, like the restart button and shit that was added in. Now they're adding in LAN. So you're still updating Halo 5, so... But basically, 343's business model is... Just release half arsed unfinished product, and then, because the fan base is so retarded, they'll accept that we keep updating shit that should have been in the game in day one. That seems to be working for them. Okay, whatever, fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, who gives a shit about Halo 5 lands? Who, who cares? There's no split screen, no fuck all. Okay, does this even work offline once you install the freaking update? I don't know. I don't fucking care. Weapon tuning upgrade. How, how can you still tune weapons in a freaking game, right, that's been out for years? Surely the fucking weapon should have been perfect from day one. But no, just 343, three, like, just trying to make that masterpiece, chisel that masterpiece. They keep chipping the noses off, chipping the ears off, chipping the eyes out, and then starting again from scratch. Just keep changing shit, tuning this, fucking about with this, changing the fucking BR from a fucking five shot to a four shot or whatever, instead of just leaving shit alone, okay? Stop breaking shit even more than it even needs to be fucking broken, you know what I'm saying? But who cares, it's Halo 5, yet again, more tuning, okay? How many updates are you going to make for this fucking game? How much hard drive space is it going to take up? 
well, none, because most people have uninstalled it, but what the fuck? Who cares? Really? This is all before we get to the MCC. Why is this all fucking crammed onto this fucking shit? What the fuck? Who cares? Fuck me. Halo Wars 2 fucking cosplay. Fuck off. Right. Finally. Halo MCC. Oh, yes. Everybody's favorite fucking game. Right. <clears throat> Fans of classic Halo games also have a lot to look forward to with today's announcements that Halo, the Master Chief Collection, with no freaking space, so that's fucking the markdown already on that, if you were wondering, uh, will receive enhancements for Xbox One X, as well as fixes, okay, improvements and upgrades to the core game to help bring it forward and modernize many of the game systems to take advantage of the Xbox platform advancements since its original launch. Say so what? Improvements and upgrades? The game is broken. Okay, never mind improvements and upgrades. Why don't you just fix the freaking game? Why didn't you fix the game fucking months ago, years ago? And we're getting this now? Really? Just unbelievable. So, we'll receive enhancements. So your enhancements is your 4K, your HDR, I presume. How they would do that, I don't know. I'm not a tech guy on the... You know, when it comes to that sort of 4K shit, I don't know shit about it. So, enhancements for Xbox One X. Well, that's your HDR color and your 4K resolution. Whether that will drop the frame rate from 60 to 30 FPS, I don't know. Because they're not telling you exactly what they're doing. But, who cares? Okay. Who really gives a shit about playing old-ass games in 4K? Okay, surely you buy a freaking brand new system to play brand new games on your brand new TV with your brand new resolution and your brand new fucking HDR with your brand new fucking controller that you just bought and your brand new headset with your brand new fucking shit. It's all going to be brand new. That's just how the consumer moves work. I don't even give a shit because the people that like this shit don't care. Don't care. That's the truth. If you like retro games, you'll play a retro game on any fucking TV because that's what counts. Because it's the fucking game. It's, it's the game you're interested in. You don't care about the resolution and the HDR and all that shit. No one cares. If it's a new game, okay. Yeah. This game takes advantage of this. Oh, I might buy that shit so I can play that new game. But I'm not going to fucking... Why would anyone spend money on an Xbox One X? And a 4K TV and all that garbage to play the MCC, a game that was broken at release. Fuck me. <sighs> fixes. Fixes for what? Improvements. Improvements for what? Upgrades to the core game, like, and modernize, which is a word I hate, many of the game systems whatever so what what does that mean add call of duty controls uh, who knows while we're incredibly excited by this opportunity to go back under the hood with mcc back under the hood meaning not just resolutions and shit meaning getting involved with the actual game code i presume a bit like opening a tin of worms i should imagine where everything's just Everything's just kind of in a balance, and the minute you try and do something, it's going to fuck something else up. Kind of like when they tried to change one thing, and then it fucked the controls up in Halo 2 or something, and then they had to patch it again, and then something else went wrong, and then... It's very finely balanced, that game right now. You mess with something, it's going to fuck something else up. Just saying. Just saying. Anybody who needs the achievement still better fucking get them before this fucking update. Just saying. It's not going to be an easy process. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay, so how long are they looking to fix this fucking game? Okay, it's been fucking three of whatever years. They're looking to fix it in 2018. Is it going to spill over into 2019? Maybe 2020, 2021? I mean, we've got infinite time because Canuck doesn't care. No one cares that this game apparently 
uh, hasn't been fixed since release in 2014. Hmm. Yeah. So basically, they can string this out as long as they want because the fan base doesn't care, apparently. What? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. Why don't you just fix this shit in the background and then announce to us when you've got something that you're going to actually come out with instead of explain to us that you're going to start looking at doing it when you have nothing to show and it might not work. There might be another fuck up and this might be forgotten article like when he said there was going to be split screen in the game and then there wasn't. They might turn around and be like, oh shit, we can't actually do anything with the MCC. Oh shit, this has been a mistake. Just like Scalebound and fucking Fable Legends and all that shit. They just got cancelled. Do you know what I mean? I mean, who says this is even going to happen? 343? Actually delivering on something they fucking promise? Might want to scale that back there, guys. Might want to scale that back a bit. Okay. To help facilitate this process, we're planning on to roll out a public program for MCC to allow for patches and updates while testing the wild large scale. So basically they're going to have a TU update playlist like they did in Halo Reach, which was a disaster. And then people are going to play it, say that it's not as good as the normal one, and then they're probably going to patch it in anyway. Uh, okay. And obviously we've got to better test the game, even though we bought it four fucking years ago for full price. And they now want us to beta test it so they can fix it. In 2018. Losers. Right now we're targeting kicking this off next spring. And when the time comes we'll need support of our community to help test and provide feedback. To the MCC. Yeah. We'll share additional details and timing plans are locked. Okay, so there you have it. There's the official confirmation that um, many sane-minded people will have been waiting for through this entire video. I do apologize if I kept you waiting for that shit, but this shit is not fucking something that you can talk about with a level head. This is not something that you can talk about with any decorum. It's just like, what the fuck is this shit? That is, that is the reaction. How can anybody sit there and look at this and go, what a great idea. Oh, 343, what a great fucking idea. Who, who's doing that? You've got to be mentally fucking ill. You've got to be. There's no fucking argument. That, just fucking stupid. It's not normal. This is not normal. What kind of company would release a broken game and then fix it four years fucking later? What does the company have to gain from that? What does the fan base have to gain from that? The answer is nothing. Nothing. They're wasting all those time and resources that could be put into making something else, like Halo 3 Anniversary, like a standalone Halo 2 Anniversary, like uh, f fucking, hey, fucking anything. Fucking anything. Just time and resources could be used to Halo 6 or to a spin-off of a Halo game, Halo fucking Mega Bloks, Halo fucking Lego, Halo fucking King Spartan fucking cooking, anything, but fixing the MCC, which is worthless, worthless, nobody cares, nobody gives a shit, people will pretend to give a shit, people will give people free praise for this, for absolutely no fucking reason, other than they are blind fanboys, blind, what kind of idiot says, yes, thank you for fixing a game that should have been working four fucking years ago? Who fucking gets hyped for that shit? Who gets excited for that shit? What the fuck? Is it any wonder Sony is ahead of Microsoft? Is it any fucking wonder? What the fuck? Sony doesn't release broken ass games, and then Sony doesn't then try and fix them four years fucking later, and then Sony doesn't get praise from fanboys for doing so. Because Sony doesn't release broken games in the fucking first place. And that's why they're ahead. But I'm a toxic fucking idiot. I'm the guy that's fucking saying this is fucking... I'm always negative. Who would be positive? Who would be positive about this bullshit? Really? Really? I mean, I could rant about this all night. I think this video's gone on long enough. But 
If you feel the same way I do, if you disagree, leave it in the comment section. Let's see if we can get this video up to a million dislikes. Okay, who cares? Okay, that doesn't make you fucking right. That doesn't make this a good idea. Just because you dislike, just because you cry in the comment section. Oh, but you're just negative. Oh, who cares? I'm still right. But why is this a good idea? Come up with some facts. Why is this a good idea? How does this help you? How does this help the company? It doesn't help either. It's just a fucking idiot move. And there's fucking Canuck laughing his ass off. Oh, you got something wrong. Only an idiot would expect this to happen. Only an idiot would put this in motion. Which means the fan base are idiots, and also the company is idiots. That's all I've got to say. And it doesn't matter that I'm wrong, because it's still retarded. It's still retarded to think that way. It's still retarded to hope upon hope that they're going to fix a fucking game that hasn't been patched since fucking 2015. Who sits there and goes, yeah, it's coming up on 20 fucking 17, 2018. Uh, I'm sure they're going to fix it soon. Uh, who's sitting there desperately waiting for a game to be fixed? Like, who? Who does that? That's sad. That's a no-life move. Just because they somehow fucking turn around and say, oh yeah, we're actually fucking doing it, well, fucking good for you. I'm so happy for you. It doesn't fucking achieve anything. And yeah, you got one fucking right, apparently, but you only got one right because you're a retard, not because you fucking had an inkling that this was a genius fucking move, because it's not a genius fucking move. It's another nail in 343's coffin. Another fuck up. That's all it is, and that's all it'll ever be, and that's all we'll ever get from this fucking company, and this fucking studio, and these fucking idiots like Bonnie, who announced this shit like it's fucking awesome on fucking Mixer, and fucking Kiki, who doesn't know when the flood was last in fucking Halo. Oh, it was back in Halo fucking 3, wasn't it? I rest my case. Do you know what I'm saying? These people are fucking retarded. They don't belong anywhere near the fucking Halo franchise. Yet here they are again with another clanger. Another fucking absolute steamroll of a shit. Right on the fucking Halo fan base. Once again. Once again. Who cares? Who honestly cares? I'm not saying who cares about the announcement because like I say, this could be put to other stuff. This could be used elsewhere to make Halo 3 anniversary, whatever, which might be now getting kicked in the fucking head because... They're putting all their eggs into the freaking MCC. A game no one cares about. What would you rather have? Halo Anniversary, Halo 3 Anniversary, uh, a game that actually works, um, all the new terminals, souped up graphics in 4K, yeah, or the broken ass MCC with a few upgrades and some 4K. It's not difficult, really. It's not difficult. I mean, if you can have both, then have both, by all means, but... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hit if this doesn't hinder all this shit, but, you know what I'm saying? But, come on, okay? Why are they not talking about doing a Halo 3 anniversary? Why didn't they do a Halo 3 anniversary? Where the fuck is Halo 6? Why is Halo 6 so fucking delayed? Are they even making Halo 6 now? Are they making something else in between? Are they doing a side project? We don't know. And instead of progressing and giving us a trailer and showing us something and showing us some progress and they're not doing any of that. They're just like, ah, now I'm fixing the MCC. <laughs> out of the blue. I completely out of the blue and, and years fucking later. I mean, I could talk about this for hours. I really could talk about this for fucking hours. They drop Halo VR that nobody cares about. They, 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 they drop updates for Halo 5 that nobody cares about. They give us DLC for Halo Wars fucking 2, which is the most retarded shit of all fucking time. That completely undermines the Halo 3 campaign. It basically says that Master Chief didn't kill the Flood or destroy the Ark in Halo 3. That's basically what happens in the Halo Wars 2. It basically undermines the entire fucking plot of Halo 3. It, it undermines the whole thing. Why do that? 
Why can't the flood come from somewhere else? Why did the flood have to come from high charity? Why did the flood have to be on the ark? I thought the Master Chief destroyed the freaking flood on the ark, but no. No, but this is 343. They can't write a story to save their lives. They can't make a game to save their lives without copying other people like Call of Duty and Destiny. They can't, they can't fucking update the freaking games. They can't fix them. When they fuck, they can't, they release them broken and then they can't fix them until months later. They add a restart button into Halo 5. They're adding LAN in like shit should have been in from fucking day one. And then the fucking worst of it is the freaking fanboys like fucking Canuck and Green Skull and fucking LNG and all these fucking idiots like, yeah, 343, good work. Keep up the good work. Yeah, what good work? They've done nothing since they took over in 2011. They've been sucking ass since then. They've been sucking ass since 2011. Just think about that for a second. They've never done anything right. They fucked up Halo Reach. They fucked up with Halo 4, apart from a questionable story that was better than anything they've done since. They gave us all that Spartan up shit that didn't go anywhere. What happened to the Janus Key? Why did Juland Armor die in the first fucking level of Halo 5 again? Nobody fucking knows, but... Okay. Okay, whatever. They, they give you Halo 5... They give you Halo Wars 2, which is just a shit version of Halo Wars 1, with no upgrades whatsoever. When they could have made it, took it to the next level. They put microtransactions in the games. What have they done since 2011? Jack shit, but ruin Halo. That's all they've done. That's on a mission to destroy the franchise. And here we have it again. Oh, they're not that bad. Quit bitching. Oh, well, you're just a hater. Oh, fuck off, you fucking idiots. Okay, the writing is on the wall. It's only going to go one way, and that's the end of Halo. That's what it is. That's where it's going. You can't turn this shit around. It's, it's retarded announcements like this. And we must get one of these, I don't know, every few months now. Just absolute moronic idiocy from 343. Time and time and time again. Now, I'm running out of steam, so I'm going to leave it there. So, leave your comments. Feel free to subscribe. See you later.